How's it going everybody? It's the man. The man. The Legend Quad MFT here. In today's video, guys, it is Sunday, so I will be bringing you guys my weekly series titled Father Sunday, which, if you guys don't know already, is a dad dual commentary series. So I do have my dad here. Introduce yourself, dad. What's up, Warriors? It's the Quad Father here. And I was thinking about how little I use all the options in Call of Duty. Like, mm -hmm. I only use one class. Okay, well, what do you use? Well, I have the M27 with the silencer. Yeah, the silencer M27 and... assault rifle and silencer and stock, I believe you usually use. Yeah, right? and, and and I know that now you can have, what, up to 100 or something ridiculous? Yeah, something crazy. I mean, I'm not sure if that's came out on the PS3 yet. I know it has on the Xbox 360, but you can't have, like, up to a You get 10 classes, but you get a bunch of different sets. Like, you get 10 different sets, and before the game starts, you have to go in, like, the sort of custom class menu and choose which set you want to start out with. Let's say you're playing Domin... You have a Domination set, so you choose that set when you're going to play Domination. But let's say you want to go back and play Search and Destroy or Capture the Flag. Maybe you have a set for Capture the flag and you have a set for search and destroy so you don't just have to completely limit yourself to having only two classes for search and destroy you can have a whole set completely dedicated to search and destroy and for me that's way too many choices i, I that's a lot of movement around and yeah and, you need direction huh yeah i do i, I yeah. just i it, too many choices in life i don't think is is really helpful and mm -hmm. and why in this game did they not allow us to have kill streaks or score streaks associated with different classes you know i don't really know why they would do that i'm sure they saw infinity war do it i'm sure people at Trek actually played the Infinity Ward game a lot. I mean, you can't you can't just completely ignore it just because your company didn't make it. But I feel like they just like they were like, I know, I know they had to think of it, and I know they had to think, well, let's not put it in this Call of Duty. I don't really see why they would do that because it's obviously an advantage. It obviously improves the game better. Just because I'd like to have a specific class set with with like non-lethal like score streaks, like UAV counter UAV and VSAT, like I'm using in this gameplay, and I'd like to have one completely set out for destroying and getting the most kills possible, like running VSAT, K9, Swarm. That would be really cool. I don't know why they wouldn't implement that. So do you think if Call of Duty was a college class that, that you'd be prepared for college, that you could graduate? I feel like I could graduate in an instant. I don't know if they had, like, what would the beginner classes be like? Like, what would they do? They, they teach you how to shoot and aim or what? Well, I think it'd be something like Pong. You'd have to start out with Pong, and then you mm -hmm. could move to, like, Centipede or Asteroids. Oh, so you move with games. It's not, it's, so it's like a, a video game college, not just a, not just a Call of Duty college or right, class. Right, right. Right, where, you know, everybody has their own console, and they sit, and maybe they, they're they putting on weight because they're eating snacks, and, you know, they're not cooking full meals because they don't have time. You know, how yeah, many, yeah. How much time do you have in a pregame game? Exactly, yeah. It, it sure says a minute, but it sure feels like five seconds. <laughs> so I was, that got me to thinking about, you know, all the different crazy college classes that, that I've heard of and seen. Mm -hmm, that people offer and the colleges offer? Yeah, actually, and the actual college credit. You actually pay money for these You pay classes. money to attend these classes. Yeah, it, like when I was going to school, I didn't take it, but for real, a lot of my friends took a wine tasting class. That's not, I, I mean, I can't taste wine, but I feel like I would want to take that just because well, just, what, free free drinks, right? By wine tasting, that's actually like physical <laughs> wine tasting. Right. I can't imagine the field trips on that one. Exactly. You go to Napa Valley. Exactly. And yeah. Drive all around. And you just, you just get to drink wine? Yeah. Like, it, it, yes. Yes. You actually, and you Did learn the words. tests? Like uh, like wine tests. I don't know. I don't like know. drink this amount of wine within two hours. Or <laughs> no, it's not. It's not a fraternity class. It was actually a legitimate <laughs> class where you could actually get a grade, and and they actually had to be able to identify different tastes, and they really made it not very interesting when they turned it into a class. Yeah, when it actually had you actually had to think about it. That's when you kind of lose a little bit of interest. Right. It, it, I, like the, I, there is a, a YouTube class in real life. There's. A, I, I I wish I could take that. I wish my school offered it right now. I mean, that would be really cool. I feel like I could do pretty well because I, I feel like I'm pretty good at YouTube, not just playing Call of Duty, not just playing the video game or making the commentary or whatever, putting effort into the videos. I feel like I'm actually good at YouTube, like making the thumbnails, putting up the video, having it all on time, trying to put out a video every single day to entertain you guys every day. I feel like I'm pretty good at that. Yeah, well, if you know, I could do really well if it was just watching YouTube. I, I yeah, <laughs> you just have to watch the videos. I feel like I'm pretty good. I'm pretty hardcore watching good, a, a lot of YouTube videos. <laughs> well, but that, that's not just that's not the only crazy class. There was uh, sociology of Lady Gaga. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I mean, how, what what's the textbook for that? Yeah, <laughs> the I mean, Lady Gaga textbook. Do you just have to buy all our albums and listen to them? Exactly. I, dress like you have Lady Gaga dress up day. That that's kind of weird. I heard or I've seen that Lady Gaga dress is pretty weird, like pretty, just just weird. Oh you know? yeah, yeah. Oh, she's a spectacle. You know? yeah, exactly. If you, if you yeah. wore that stuff to school or, or I'd a girl get beat did, up. yeah. Like, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so so there's also a whole college class on the strategy of Starcraft. 
I, I mean, if you live in South Korea or something like that, I mean, North Korea, that's a bit sketchy right now. They're, <laughs> they're throwing, throwing around Korea. a few nukes here and there, but I actually, I don't think they've actually thrown around any nukes. But no, I really, no. yeah, exactly. If, if they did, I'd be a little bit scared. But just the, the overall strategy of StarCraft, I feel like StarCraft is much more, a little bit more complicated than Call of Duty. Because Call of Duty, you know, you aim down the site. It, it's a lot more than people really think it is. Some people, it's like, oh, you just run around killing people like the kids did at Sandy Hook or whatever. I mean, no, no, no. it doesn't, it doesn't affect it. Every time I play Call of Duty, because I play I play Call of Duty pretty consistently, it's not like every time I see a, like a real person in real life and there's a rock next to him, I have to refrain from like bludgeoning them in the head with it. It's not <laughs> no. like that at all. But I feel like StarCraft, there should be a class for StarCraft for people who are pretty interested in that. Would you take a Minecraft class? That can get complicated. I mean, Minecraft, it's basically just thinking. I mean, you, you, you can do anything you want. You can do basically you want to create this, you want to replicate your house or something like that, or you just want to have fun in like the survival mode or whatever. I know I do a few Minecraft hunger games videos here and there but i really feel like you could do a class on basically any video games because i mean you hear like you've told me this before everybody who's the best in the world michael phelps the, the supposedly the best swimmer to ever swim before right. has a coach oh yeah yeah so if you could learn something more about youtube or starcraft or, i would i would do it in a heartbeat so or lady gaga yeah not know, i don't want to learn too much about lady gaga yeah yeah there's even a class on the simpsons and the philosophy yeah, that, and that's science just weird like that's yeah. just weird. Like, I don't know why you need to learn about The Simpsons. I mean, I know it's the longest running television show to ever put on TV before, but I don't feel like there's too much to be learned within that. No, no, I, I think I think that uh, that's all the time we have for today. Yeah, so it is. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, remember to give me a big thumbs up down below. If we could try and hit 150 likes on this video, that would be absolutely insane. Remember to go and follow me on Twitter and Instagram down in the description below. Also, remember to go ahead and like my Facebook page. That's where I'm going to interact with you guys. It's been Quadam FT. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. See you in Minecraft class.